Hi guys, it's Leanne, and in this video I'm going to be talking about some of my candy and the memories behind it. Now I originally filmed this talking about every single candy that meant something to me, and that shit was 20 minutes long. Ain't nobody got time for that, I know. So I did try to salvage it, I tried to cut it down, I got it to 14 minutes, and you know, I still just wasn't happy with it, wasn't feeling it. So I'm going to make this a part one of three. And I'm going to be going by years. So this, I'm going to be talking about the Rave Candy from 2014, 15, and 16. Yes, it's 2017. Where have I been? I have been taking a break from raving. So I don't have any candy from 2017. I took a break for my wealth, my health, and just to chill, you know? I went to, or me and my boyfriend, we went to like every single rave of the past three years, so we definitely needed a break, needed to chill, and you know, I ain't mad about it. <laughs> I did go to one rave this year so far. I went to Wasteland, which was super lit, got my fill, had tons of fun, and the weekend was great, to say the least. But I will be back. I will. I'm going to Project Z Life is Beautiful, which I'm super excited about because I've been going to Coachella and I didn't go this year, so I'm definitely excited to try something new. And that lineup is just too freaking good, so I'm so excited. So yeah, and I definitely will be going to Escape because that's just like a staple rave. You can't miss it. So yeah, back to the candy. I'm going to be showing some candy from 2014, which was the first year that I started raving. And the first rave that I actually went to was EDC. So my first candy is this one right here. It says, let's get naked. And I didn't really like zoom in that well on it, but it says let's get naked and it's freaking awesome. I didn't know about the board gore song when I got this candy, but when I did find out about it, you know, that was my jam. That was my summer jam. I love this song and I love this candy even more. So the story behind this candy is pretty funny and pretty dear to my heart. My boyfriend and I decided to go to EDC on a whim. He suggested it and like crazy kids the next weekend we were at EDC. So keep in mind, I knew nothing about the rave culture. I knew nothing about what ravers did. Everything was just so new to me. I'm not really sure how I started trading with this guy, but I remember his face and I remember my feels exactly. So he goes, peace, love, unity, and respect. and. I thought this guy made that up. So I was like, what poetry, what a beautiful man. How blessed am I to have crossed paths with you? Like, is anybody else witnessing this? <laughs> I thought this guy made it up. And it was pretty awesome to have not known about Plur before this happened because I feel like I was taking each word in. Like, I did not know what he was going to say next. So I was like, peace, yes, love it love of course always unity and that's when i was like oh my god how beautiful yes <laughs> and respect and i was like cherry on top who are you that is amazing yes to everything you just said so it was a really awesome moment and it was a really cool way to be introduced to plur without ever hearing about it and i just i just forever will cherish this candy and that moment I did later on find out that that was a thing, but at first I didn't know and I think that that is just so funny and pure. The next candy I got later on that night, it says funsies and this is from a girl named Michelle. Michelle, we met at EDC, we were at a set and she complimented my bra and she's like, oh how cute, like did you make it? And it was like a black simple bra with bedazzle and I was like, yeah. Um, I like yours too and honestly I was just really happy that she was talking to me because I'm more of an introvert so anytime that anyone puts an effort to talk to me I'm like I really appreciate it you know so I was like oh, this girl's awesome and girl was on point she's actually the girl that taught me how to put the VIX on the candy so she was just like pro raver I ran into like the <laughs> The most ideal raver to come across, I did, and I'm so glad I met her and her friends. 
She was wearing a Pokeball bra that she bedazzled herself. She had a totem with a Pokeball. And on top of that, her friend Kim was dressed as Pikachu. They looked so cute. And they were just so full of good vibes. They were so welcoming and they were so nice. And they introduced us to their friends. And yeah, we stayed with them the whole night and they were just so fun and it's honestly like so great to see where they are now because I still follow them on social medias. So the next candy I got is actually from my friend in real life. It's this. It's from my friend Eddie. Me and Eddie have been friends since like seventh grade and he has been raving since like freshman sophomore so before you had to be 18 so I always wanted to go to a rave with Eddie but I never thought that it was possible I was so sheltered and I thought oh my god my parents would never let me go to a rave so we met up that night hung out the whole time and it was so awesome because it's like look at us still being friends and look who's here I'm at a rave with you yay and it was just such a great night and like I still trip out like hey look at us now and it's probably not even that cool, but it's cool to me, so, yeah. <laughs> the next candy is from Nocturnal. It says, S stay golden, and this is from, her Instagram name is, they call me Barbie, and she just was really nice and had like a really lit group i will enter a picture of their totem which was amazing so their whole group was just like good vibes they knew how to party they were just like so fun and their totem was lit they were lit yeah actually pasquale at the next rave at escape took a picture with their totem because he was on the vip like deck and he saw it and he took a picture with it so it's just like wow that's freaking awesome the next candy is this awesome cuff this is from Benji, Benji Juice Box. This actually wasn't given to me. This was given to my boyfriend. Um, Benji had his GoPro and he was like shuffling and my boyfriend was like, hey, let's shuffle together. And he traded him this and I'm just really like proud of him to have gotten a piece like this. Like, wow, that's amazing. And honestly, it's pretty cool to have like a piece from an actual candy kid, I guess. Um, but yeah, I love it, and I have it just because it doesn't really fit his arm that well, and, you know, he wore it that night, or actually, I might have worn it that night. <laughs> it's freaking awesome, okay? But anyways, I have it on my, like, I have a cork board that has, like, a bunch of stuff over my desk, and it's, like, hung up like this, and I love it, and it's a pretty cool piece. So, yeah. That is actually all the candy that I have from that year. I did trade at Escape, but I don't remember which candies I got. So that is all the candy that I'm going to be showing today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to give a quick appreciation to the people that steal my candy. I really, really love making and trading candy, so thank you. And if you don't, it's not your thing, that's cool. But if you do, I appreciate you. I also want to give a shout out to an old friend's Instagram page. She makes freaking awesome candy. And not only that, she's had this like 100 days of singles to EDC. And they were all just really unique and really cool. So if you are into candy and need inspiration or you just want to see that kind of stuff, definitely go check her page out. It's I want candy time. And yeah comment down below your favorite candy or your favorite rave or if you're going to any rave soon comment down below so that is about it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys later bye